Hi, I would like to explore a little bit on how on the question, how do I view those I teach? Um, there are three questions, possible other questions that I came up with. So how do I check myself if my views become distorted? How can I help students see their value? And how can I best help those problem students? Um, so those are some pretty hefty questions, especially the first one, how do I check myself if my views become distorted? There are some possible answers that that um, have been thought of. So the first question, um, how do I check myself if my views become distorted? There's always self-evaluation. Uh, teachers are always being evaluated on their performances and, and their teaching methods and other things like that. So there's always some sort of self-evaluation that's going on. Um, student feedback. I think it was mentioned in an earlier post um, about one th thought about bullying to have some uh, sort of anonymous um, method of uh, reporting bullying. Well, that can also be done by with student feedback. Have a, have some sort of anonymous student feedback about the teacher's performance and parent feedback. I'm talking to the parents. <laughs> Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, because sometimes the parents don't quite cooperate, but sometimes parents do, so that's, that's a good one. So the second question of how can I help students see their value is, again, parent-teacher conferences. Those are always good, good ways to, to, to get um, feedback for students on how they can improve. Um, student evaluations, like I said, there's student evaluations that you can that the teachers can get um, or the teachers can give the student evaluations uh, to talk to them kind of a one-on-one -on -one kind of basis uh, and the focus on student strengths there's it's people like being like being told what they're doing right and so i think that's a good way to help students see their values being told what they're good at the third question is, how can I help those problem students? Um, I, there's actually one teacher that I saw who, there was one student who was just being disruptive a lot, and is actually after class that, so the teacher had him you know, go, sit, go sit aside so he wouldn't disrupt the class, and then talk to him after class just face to face just one-on-one -on -one kind of thing and I like the one-on-one -on -one kind of thing that it's it's always helpful for because you know you get you're able to get the actually what's going what's going down in the student's mind and just communication with the parents communication I think here is key being able to communicate effectively communicate with the students and the parents is the main thing 